In this video, we're going to learn how to check whether an integer is even or odd using C++. The first thing we'll do is declare an int variable to store the integer. So we'll have int number. Next, we'll prompt the user to enter in the integer. We'll have cout enter integer colon to prompt the user to enter in the integer. Next, we'll use cin to store the integer that the user enters into the number variable. Now, if an integer is even, it's going to be divisible by two. What that means is if we take the integer and divide it by two, there should be zero remainder. So for example, eight when divided by two is equal to four with zero remainder, and eight would be an even number. But nine, for example, when divided by two would give us four with one remainder. So if we take an integer and divide it by two and get zero remainder, that tells us the integer is even. If we take an integer and divide it by two and get one remainder, that tells us the integer is odd. And zero and one are the only possible remainders when dividing an integer by two. So if we find that the remainder is not zero, we know it's one and vice versa. Now the modulus operator in C++ will allow us to find the remainder of a division operation. So for example, if we have here number percent two, the percent symbol is the modulus operator. It's going to give us the remainder of dividing the integer by two. We can then check that remainder value to determine whether the integer is even or odd. So if the remainder is equal to zero, that tells us that the integer is even. And we could output number is even, followed by an end line. Otherwise, the only other possibility is that it's odd. So we'll output number is odd, followed by an end line. And we can save our program and test it out. So I'll first enter in eight and we get eight is even. I'll run the program again and enter in nine and we get nine is odd. So our program is working. Now, one thing we might want to do is put this logic inside a function. So we can call a function to determine whether or not an integer is even or odd. The function would look like this. It could return a bool, true or false, whether the integer is even or odd. We could call the function is even. The function could accept an int as an argument. So we could have int number for the parameter here. We could provide a definition of the function down here. And the function will use the same logic as above. If the number modulus two is equal to zero, we know the integer is even and we could return true. Otherwise, the integer must be odd and we could return false. So now the is even function will return true if the integer is even and false if the integer is odd. We could then call the function up here in the if statement and we could pass it the number variable so we'll have is even number we could save compile and run our program and it's going to work the same as before if i enter an eight here we'll get eight is even if i try it again and enter in seven we'll get seven is odd but this time we're using a function to carry out the logic of determining whether or not the integer is even or odd now, one thing in this function is that right now we have this expression that's going to evaluate to true if the integer is even, in which case we're going to return true. Otherwise, we're going to return false. So if the expression is true, we're going to return true. If it's false, we're going to return false. Rather than checking the expression and then returning true or false, we can instead just return the result of the expression, whether it's true or false, because that is whether or not the integer is even or odd. So we could just have, for example, return the result of this expression. And if it's true, we'll get that it's an even integer. And if it's false, we'll get that it's an odd integer. We could save, compile, and run the program. And again, it's going to work the same way as before. Here we could enter an eight, and we'll get eight is even. We'll try it again, and enter a nine, and we'll get nine is odd. We could also make an is odd function. So we'll make an isOdd function 
that looks pretty much the same way. We'll say bool is odd int number. Then down here, we'll provide a definition for this function. It's going to look a lot like our is even function. We're also going to return the result of an expression. This expression though will be number modulus two is equal to one. So the only other possibility when dividing an integer by two is that the remainder is going to be one. If the remainder is one, we know it's an odd integer, in which case we're going to return true. Otherwise, we're going to return false. We could now use this is odd function in our main function. So up here, we could have if is odd number returns true, output that the integer is odd. Otherwise, output that the integer is even. And if we save, compile, and run a program, we can test it out. We'll again enter an eight, and again we get that eight is even. We can try it again, and enter in nine, and we get nine is odd again. So the program is working. So this is how we can check whether an integer is even or odd using C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.